Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. Je déclare l'audience ouverte. Today, the chamber will hear the testimony of witness through TCW 979 by a video link from Batambang province. The greffier, please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. Parties et autres individus présents au procès aujourd'hui. Secretary, good morning, Mr. President. For Madame today's Secretary, proceedings, all parties to this case are present, present, except Arthur Rekhan and Arthur Goucher. Defense counsels for Q. Sampont are absent during this week's proceedings due to personal matters. Mr. Nguyenji is present in the holding cell downstairs. He has waived his right to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the graffier. Witness who is to testify today, that is through TCW 979, will testify via a video link for, from Batambang province. The witness confirms to the best of ability that the winner has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused, Nun Chi and Kiev Samphorn, or to any other civil parties. In this case, the witness took an oath this morning, and Mr. Mom Ratia is a duty counsel for Maitre the witness. The AV unit informs that the link has been established and the witness, the witness is ready to be to testify. Thank you. President, thank you. The chamber now decides on the request by Nun Chia. The chamber has received a waiver from Nun Chia. Dated 4th May 2015, which states that due to his health, that is headache, back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long, and in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to waive his right to participate in and be present at the 4th May 2015 hearing. He advises that his counsel advised him about the consequence of this waiver, that in no way it can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented or admitted to this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report of Nun Chi by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC, Dated 4th May 2015, who notes that Nun Chi has a severe back pain when he sits for long and recommends that the chamber shall grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nunchi his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs, via an audio visual means. The chamber instructs the AV unit personnel to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that he can follow the proceedings, and that applies for the whole day. President, good morning, Madame Witness. Le Président, Madame what is your name? Bonjour. Quel est votre nom? Witness, 
My name is Kham Bun. Kham Bun. President, uh, Madam Kham Bun, uh, please uh, hold on. And Council Kung Sam On, you have the floor. Kung Sam On, thank you, Mr. President. Before the Chamber proceeds with this uh, witness, I'd like to get instructions uh, from the Chamber regarding the reason for this testimony via a video link. De la raison pour laquelle Referring cette déposition to se fait par an email from the senior legal Je me réfère officer dated 24 April 2015, 2015, who informed the parties about the two witnesses to testify today via a video link. The email does not state the reasons for a video link testimony. In addition, last week, the Chamber notified the parties during the proceedings, that is on the 30th, April 2015, and the president uh, informs the parties to participate in the uh, proceedings this week, as well as the uh, pseudonyms of the witnesses by a video link, and no reason was given why there needs a video uh, link testimony from the two witnesses. If I recall correctly, the chamber raised an issue of a health condition of a witness, and as such, the witness returned without providing any testimony. And that is the reason I seek uh, your advice and instruction on the reason for a video link testimony, and that is important for my clients, the accused, to confront the witness directly in the courtroom rather than via a video link. And I would appreciate the grounds or the reasons for such an arrangement by the chair. Thank you. Merci. President, uh, thank you. And the Chamber would like to inform the Council and the parties that the two witnesses have serious health issues that they cannot come to testify in the courtroom before this Chamber. De déposer devant la chambre. The chamber had to make a decision either to forfeit the hearing or the testimony of these two witnesses due to health issues. Secondly, based on the request from the witnesses as well as the report by WISU, with the uh, advice from independent uh, doctors, we uh, were informed that there were health issues with the two witnesses. And due to the health witnesses of another witness previously, that is 8.22, the testimony could not proceed. And based on the uh, information contained in the case file, in particular the written records of the interviews by OCIJ, the Chamber is of the view that these witnesses or the witnesses have uh, in important information for this case. And we have to decide that due to the probate value of the information of this witness, and that the witnesses could testify by a video link, the chamber therefore decided to take this opportunity to hear the two witnesses via a video link. And that is based on both the request by the witnesses as well as an independent assessment, and that is the that, ha that has been the practice the chamber uh, used. 
Of de course, la the chamber tries to avoid it at all costs Bien évidemment, la chambre to engage any witnesses in a via video link. But this is the situation that the chamber decided to proceed due to the health issue and the advanced age of the witnesses. President thank you, Madame Cambund. Le président. Merci, Could Madame you please Cambon. tell the chamber when you were born? Pourriez-vous dire à la chambre Answer. quelle est votre date de naissance I, I cannot recall the year that I was born. Currently, I am 72 years old. President, uh, thank you. So you are now 72 years old. And the chamber uh, notes that. And please tell the chamber your place of birth. Witness, I was born in Chiang Tong Commune, Tram Kok District, Takaewa Province. President, uh, thank you. And please tell the chamber your current uh, address. Answer. I lived in Batambong province. President, uh, please give us more details of your current address as to the commune or the district. Answer. I lived in Sampelun district. President, what are the names of your Father and mother. Answer. Kun is my father's name and Chi is my mother's name. Question. What is your husband's name and how many children do you have? Answer. John is my husband's name and we have four children together. President. Madame Cambon has reported uh, by the Greffier, you do not have any parents, ancestors, descendants, husband, or other relatives who are recognized as civil parties in this case. Is the information correct? Answer, yes, it is. President. The greffier also uh, informed the chamber Président, that you uh, had taken an oath before your appearance via a video link from your uh, residence. Is that correct? Answer, yes, that is correct. Oui, exact. President, the Président, chamber would like to inform you of your rights and obligations. As a witness, uh, Madame Cambon, you may refuse to respond to any witness, to any questions that may incriminate you, that is, your right against self-incrimination. This means that you may refuse to provide your response or make any comment that could lead you to being prosecuted. And as a witness in the proceedings before the chamber, you must respond to any questions by the bench or relevant parties. Vous devrez Except via your response or comment to those questions, may incriminate you. As the chamber has just informed you of your right as a witness, you must tell the truth that you have known, heard, seen, remembered, experienced, or observed directly. In regards to any event or occurrence relevant to the, to the questions that the bench or the party is supposed to you. Witness, do you understand your rights and obligations as I have explained? Witness, I understand some, Mr. President. Question, have you been interviewed by in Question. investigators of the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges? Déjà if so, par les how many times and si where? Oui, Answer, yes. Réponse. 
it was uh, done in Phnom Penh. Question and how many times? Answer. It happened only once. President, and before your appearance uh, this morning, have you reviewed or uh, read the written record of your interviews with the OCIJ investigators in order to refresh your memory? Answer, yes, I have, uh, but I have not read it uh, fully Mais due to my poor eyesight. President, uh, thank you. And to your best recollection, that's the written record of your statements reflect your words that you provided to the investigators at the time? Answer, yes. yes. Oui. President, uh, Madame Cambon, you Madame are Cambon, assisted by a duty council wire a visa per your request. That is Council Mormoutier. Is Council Mormoutier present? And have you discussed uh, the matters uh, with him? Answer, yes, he is uh, with me. President, for questioning this witness, pursuant to Rule 91B of the ECC Internal Rules, the Chamber will hand the floor first to the co-prosecutors before other parties, and the combined time for the co prosecutors and the lead co uh, lawyers is one full day. You may uh, proceed. National Deputy Co-Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. And good morning, Mr. President, Your Honours, and everyone in and around the courtroom. And good morning, Madam. Witness, my name is Sein Liang, a national deputy co-prosecutor, and I have some questions on three main topics to you, and I'd like your assistance in providing clarifications to those topics. First, I would ask you about some personal information, and then uh, when you were, appoint were appointed as chief of a Tsingtong commune, and the last topic is about false marriage. And then my international colleague, uh, Mr. Wang Song, will put uh, some questions to you in relation to other meetings and uh, other topics. And allow me to ask you some questions on your personal background before 1975. Could you please tell the uh, chamber where you lived before 17 April 1975? Answer. I lived in Kabal O Village, de Chiangtong. Thank you. Question. And when did the Khmer Rouge occupy your uh, area? Answer. The Khmer Rouge uh, took control of my area in 1971. Thank you. Question. In your OCIJ's interview, that is document E319-12.3.2, at answer 139, you said that, and I quote, 
I moved to live uh, in Phnom Penh until 1969 when I sold my house in Phnom Penh and returned to my hometown. Did you move to your hometown before or after the Khmer Rouge occupied your area? Answer, in 1969 my mother became ill and could not move, so I sold my house in order to get the money to take care of my mother in my native village. Thank you. Question. When did uh, you join the revolution and did you hold any position at the time? Answer. It was in 1979 when I joined the movement and I was one of the women in the village who joined the revolution. Question. Who assigned you to this position? Answer. It was Com. Who did that? Question. Question. Uh, please uh, repeat uh, your response as who assigns you to that position? Answer. It was Com. Question. Question. Who is Com? Answer. Com was a woman and she was the daughter of Tamok. La fille de Tamok. Thank you. Je vous Question. Question. Can you please tell the chambers how many brothers and sisters uh, you have? De et soeurs vous avez? Answer, Réponse. I have four siblings. Question, and, and how many, including you? Answer, Question. five of us. Au total, vous compris, Thank you. Cinq. Uh, could you please uh, tell the names of your siblings? Answer. Khun was the eldest. Kham Khun. Kham Khun was the second eldest. And Kham Bo was the third. And she was my sister. Question and Question. another sibling. Answer. Réponse. It was Kham Khun, my Kham brother. Mon frère. Thank you. Question. Did any of uh, your brothers and sisters hold any uh, position uh, during the Khmer Rouge regime? Answer. There was one, that is my other sister, uh, Kambo. As for other siblings, they had died before uh, the regime. Question. Is Kambo and Jibo uh, one same person? Answer, yes. Question, what was Jibo's position at the time? Answer, I did not know since I rarely met her during the regime. Question, in your OCHS interview, I refer to the same documents, that is E319-12.3.2, and in your question, in the questions that did you personally know the MOOC, at answer 56 to confirm that yes, I personally knew him, and my question to you is the following. Did you know him before or after 1975, and how did you know him? Answer, I knew him after 1975, after he came to the cooperative. Thank you. Question. Je vous remercie. Question. Did you know uh, Office 105, uh, rather Hospital 105 or the Pankul uh, Hospital? 
Answer, yes. Question, uh, did you know a person by real son who worked in that hospital? Answer, no, I uh, did not, since I did not have any, uh, since, since I did not have much contact with that hospital. Question. Did you know Kiyu Samporn? Answer no, I did not. Question. Question. Did you hear that Kiyu Samporn came to your area before or after you joined the uh, revolutionary movement? Answer no, since I did not uh, meet him. Question. I Ask you a question about a medic working at Hospital 105, and his name is uh, Real Son. In his interview, E319.1.21, in his uh, response to the question, as who Yi Bun was, at question 187, he said that she was the uh, messenger of uh, Kyusampon, or oh, Tapon, rather. What is your reaction to that? Answer, no. I did not know Kyusampon. Question. I'd like to Question. move uh, on to another uh, topic, that is when you were sujet. appointed as head of a Jing Tong commune. Can you please tell the court as to when you were appointed uh, to that position? Answer, I Réponse. cannot uh, recall when I was pas. appointed to that position. It could be in early 1970 or in later 1979. Uh, uh, Question. Were you appointed in 1972 or 74? Answer. I worked in the women's group uh, during that uh, period, that is uh, 72, 73, and 74 in Qingdong Commune. Question. Also, in your uh, interview with OCIJ, that is the same document, E319 slash 12.3.2, when you answer the questions that uh, whether you were a full right member of the Communist Party of Kampuchea, at answer 92, you stated that you were not a full right member. What were the differences between a full right members and non full right members? Answer. Full right members are full members of the party. President, the deputy co-prosecutor and the witness, uh, please uh, be mindful that you should leave sufficient uh, gap between the question and answer session so that the interpreters could do their job professionally. Thank you. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. Le co-procureur adjoint, merci, Monsieur le Président. Now I would like to quote another written statement of Mr. Rielson that is not human. Notre procès-verbal d'audition de Monsieur Rielson. Il s'agit du document. E319.1.21 in his answer to the question that did Ye Bun believe in the communists without any doubt? On lui a in answer si 1917, uh, your answer was that she had Alors, long been a member of the party. 17, and another question at that time, uh, 
was asked, according to your knowledge, was Ye Buen a full right or preparatory member of the party? At answer 198, she was a full right member of the party. Answering to that question, that means Ye Buen was one of the very influential people during that era. Is that correct? At answer 199, uh, it said, yes, she had strong influence. My question is, what do you think uh, Je of, à présent uh, la think question about suivante. this uh, answers? Des réponses de Monsieur Rielsen. Whether she had any influence, whether she had, she was very influential. I uh, do not know about that. Réponse. Je ne sais pas si elle avait beaucoup d'influence. Co-prosecutor. Thank you. Le co-procureur. When were you assigned to work in the office district? Quand avez-vous dû aller travailler au bureau the, du district? In the office of the district. I uh, worked in Réponse. the office. Before the liberation. Au bureau avant in la libération. 1978, in October. En octobre 1978. Prosecutor, thank you. Question, merci. During that time, did you already become the full right member? À cette époque, vous étiez déjà I membre uh, was de plein droit. not uh, assigned Réponse. and appointed to be a full right member. I was Je assigned to work there. Co-prosecutor, now. Question. Concerning document E319-12.3.2 at answer 129, you said for the full right member, they were assigned to work in the district or above. What do you think about this answer? Answer. This answer is true. Réponse. Cette réponse est exacte. Co-prosecutor, you stated that Question. you were assigned to work in the district, in the office in the district. Dans le du district. So, did you, uh, were you assigned to be a full right member at that time? I uh, was not labeled as a full right member. I was assigned to work there as a member. Co-prosecutor, could you tell the chamber the structure of Qingdong? Answer. I uh, do Réponse. not get your question. Je ne comprends pas votre question. I do not know what you mean. Je ne sais pas ce que vous voulez dire. Co-prosecutor, I would question. like you to tell the chamber about the structure of your commune when you were assigned to work there. What was the structure in the commune? Answer. I uh, do not recall Réponse. well. However, I could remember that people were put in groups or teams or cooperatives. There were children units. Il y avait des unités there, were, there were children units, uh, female units, and uh, youth femmes, units. That what I know. Jeunes. Voilà ce dont je me souviens. Question. Could you tell the chamber who Question. was your deputy? Question. vous dire à la chambre qui était votre adjoint? And who was uh, responsible for militia qui and the military? And what about others? Et what were their responsibilities? Et de leurs responsibilités? And the below me, Réponse. there was come. Kim était sous mes ordres. Kim was responsible Kim for the military. 
des affaires militaires or army. de l'armée. And uh, there was another person by the name Po. Il y avait quelqu'un d'autre qui s'appelait Po me. qui était également sous mes ordres. And there was another one named Tum below me as well. Tum. Question: oh, oh, What about the ones Question. who responsible for militia? Qui était responsable des milices? Answer: Tum was Réponse also responsible for militia. Qui était responsable des milices? In the commune. Dans la commune. Question. When Question. you were the commune chief, uh, what Lorsque did you do? Chef de la commune, que -vous exactement? Answer. Réponse. I let people to work in the field, to farm in the dry Je season, and to make a fertilizer. Question. What about the army and militia? What were their militaires responsibilities et les in your milices? commune? Answer, as for militia or army, commune? they were responsible for guarding the security of the commune or village. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Madame merci. Witness. Merci, Madame la témoin. In another interview, Dans un autre in your interview with OCIJ E319, e you said Dans that Kama was responsible for army or militia, and you also said that John was the chief of the army, John était le and chef de he was uh, below Kum. Et vous dites il était sous les ordres de Kum. Do you want to say that Kum was the superior of John? Answer, Kum. yes, Kum was the superior of John. Chef I uh, de... for forgets to mention this uh, answer. Réponse, oui, j'ai oublié de le mentionner, effectivement. President, uh, Madame Kumbun, before you give Madame your response, Kumbun, avant de répondre, please think of uh, the answer and response carefully and to pause, to give some pause uh, before you provide your response so that the interpretation uh, is full. Les interprètes puissent bien vous suivre. Co-prosecutor, thank you, uh, Mr. President. Madame Witness, uh, during that time, who Madame was responsible témoin. for recruiting à cette époque, militiamen? Come and de John. Said Réponse, Cam Witness. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Question. Madame Merci, Witness. Madame In your interview with OCIJ, if Procès verbal de l'édition avec le document 12.2, document 12.3.2. Et la question était, est-ce que John a rapporté à John Et votre réponse était oui. Je faisais rapport à John et vous dites que oui. And uh, at answer 80, you said that uh, you had to report to the upper level. And when, uh, could you tell the court about the reporting structure of your commune? La structure de votre Answer, commune, yes. qui devait faire rapport à qui? It was like uh, what you have just uh, mentioned. C'était exactement comme vous venez de le dire. Question. Could you tell the court? Question. How did John and Kum receive the report? Answer. The report was from the villages. Je voyais présenter des rapports. Réponse. Les rapports venaient du village, des villages. Co-prosecutor. Le co-procureur. Could you tell the chamber? About the reports. Pourriez-vous parler plus avant des rapports à la chambre, s'il vous plaît? What kind of report uh, did you receive from uh, John and Kim? Quel genre de rapport John et Kim envoyaient-ils exactement? 
for the reports Reports. of John and Kim, the reports were were put in writing, and after that, I uh, forwarded uh, the reports to the upper level. Question. What uh, kind of matter were in the reports? Was were they about security? Quel thème Answer, yes. Il the reports de had uh, oui. the matter of uh, security, of economics, and de uh, military situation. Et de la situation Co-prosecutor, thank you, Madame Witness. Merci, Madame la when you receive the reports Lorsque about the security, relatif à la sécurité. After you received such reports, did you hold any meeting in the villages among the villages uh, com- chief and community? Answer, yes. Du Question. You said personnes. that there were meeting to oui. discuss about the security mentioned in the reports. Des questions de sécurité mentionnées dans les rapports. So what was your discussion? Answer. There was the discussion about the economics, how to solve de ce qui the était food situation. And if Réponse there was any specific uh, problem si mentioned, we would discuss and deal with that uh, specific uh, matter. Thoroughly. Question. What about the matter question. of security if it was put in the report? What was your rapports? measure or action? Answer. When I received the report about the security Lorsque and if I saw any point mentioned rapports, in the report regarding this matter, I would uh, forward the report uh, to the upper level. Question, what did you mean Question. by upper level? Que dire Answer, par it, I referred to the district. I forwarded the report to the Je district. Co-prosecutor. Uh, did you know anything about the district? Que mm, du district? When they received uh, your report, uh, what did they do? Que Answer, I did not know. Question, uh, what was your relation Question. with your upper level? Did you have any relation with your upper level after you forwarded the report? Answer, when I met my upper réponse. level or superior, I would uh, submit my request to solve the problem for people. Afin de les Question. De la Did you ever use uh, messages or telegrams uh, to communicate de with your superiors? Afin de avec vos Witness, no. Réponse, non. Co-prosecutor, I uh, would Question. like to move on to the last topic concerning forced marriage. Thème. Il s'agit des mariages forcés. In your OCIJ interview, document E319-12.3.2, at answer 112, you stated that, quote, the marriage was arranged by the party. They arranged for the new people to marry with the new people, while the, the old people had to marry with the old people. My question is, why was the marriage arranged by the party during the decade regime? Pourquoi le parti s'occupait-il d'arranger les mariages sous la période du Kampuchea démocratique? Answer. When there was a proposal réponse. or request submitted to the Lorsque upper level, after that time there was a marriage arranged by the party. Co-prosecutor, thank you, mar- thank you very much. Uh, to your Merci knowledge, uh, where did the marriage policy come from? À votre connaissance. D'où Answer, it was from the upper level. Réponse, elle venait de l'échelon supérieur. Question. Question. Are you referring? Are you referring to the uh, party center or du the zone? Du party 
ou de la zone Answer. I received the policy Réponse. from the district. Cette politique venait du district. Question. Do you want to say that the district Question. gave you the instructions? Vous voulez dire que c'est le district yes. qui vous donnait des consignes en la matière? Réponse oui. Question. Question. How was the policy disseminated to lower De façon, cette politique lower level? Diffusée? I mean uh, the policy of a marriage. Uh, how was it disseminated to lower level? Comment cette politique était-elle diffusée I uh, disseminated the policy uh, through Réponse. village chiefs. C'est moi qui ai été chargé de diffuser cette politique par le biais des chefs de village. Co-prosecutor. From your Question. knowledge, why uh, new people were not allowed to à get married with old people? Pourquoi les membres Answer. du peuple From nouveau ne pouvaient-ils se marier avec les knowledge. membres du peuple de base? Réponse. I know that uh, new people were arranged, que je savais, were allowed to get married with uh, new people, and as for old people, they had to get married with old people. New people and old people did not know each other well, and perhaps they did not bien. get along Et with each other. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Madame Witness. Question. Merci, Madame la témoin. In document E319-12.3.2, at answer 120, Réponse you 120. stated that it was my understanding that the new people were not good, they were the enemy, bon. and were not valuable as the old people de does. They le were not allowed to marry the old people. What do you think about your answer which que you gave to the OCIJ? Answer. I uh, mentioned this point based on uh, what I was told from the above. Question. You Réponse. said Je that uh, you mentioned this point Donc, from uh, what you were question. told. Uh, who told ce, you? Ce que vous avez dit. Answer. Vous the district dit? told me about Réponse. this. The co-prosecutor. Could you Le mention clearly for the chamber? What were you était. told? Answer. Que vous que vous it was said that uh, new people Réponse. had to get married with new people and old people had to get married with old people, de base new people, and old eux. people did not know each other well, et and le they de base ne se did not bien, get along with ils ne pas the bien new people did not get along with old people because uh, new people had ils just arrived in the area. Co-prosecutor, I, I am referring to Answer 120, which you gave to the OCIJ. You stated that it was my understanding that new people were not good, they were the enemy and were not valuable at the old people, thus they were not allowed to marry the old people. I would like to know what was the instruction did you receive from the upper level answer. I was told that uh, new people were not allowed to get married uh, with Réponse. new people, and new people had just arrived in the base. area, the they have not région. yet, they had not yet uh, settled in, Mais and new pas, people did not uh, get along well with the old people, they were Et not uh, trusted yet. Co-prosecutor, I would like to move on to question. another question, could you tell the chamber? Question. How was the marriage dire à la chambre organized or initiated? De quelle façon les mariages étaient organisés? Answer. I uh, do not understand Réponse. well about this matter. When I received the instruction from the Je upper level to arrange the marriage, I would uh, do so. Je instructions de la part de l'échelon supérieur. Question. Je devais alors... How many couples were the upper Question. was the upper echelon instruct you to arrange their marriage? Vous demandez d'arranger des mariages. Answer. De couple s'agissait-il? 
the marriage could be arranged for a tenth couple or more than that depends on the, the situation. And I, my, from my experience, I had arranged uh, the marriage for uh, three couples at a time. Personnellement, j'arrangeais des mariages pour trois couples en même temps. In your OCIJ statement at answer 116, you stated that uh, the commune would to put in the names of those who would, uh, who, whose marriage would be arranged, and after that, uh, it was sent to the district, and you stated that uh, you did not dare to make any decision on the marriage. What do you think of uh, your response? And so it was like what I said, uh, we proposed to the upper level, and if uh, the proposal was rejected, there would um, have no marriage. Co-prosecutor, thank you very much, Madame Vinesse. My follow-up question, who uh, was responsible for arranging or organizing the marriage? Answer, the commune and the uh, villages, including me, uh, would help arrange the marriage. Question, was the marriage arranged uh, frequently, annually? Answer, no, the marriage would not be arranged uh, frequently. Question, did you, the one who is responsible for pairing up uh, the couple, answer yes. When I understood and saw that uh, uh, when the, the female and male were getting older and some of them uh, uh, had uh, some moral offenses, uh, I uh, would request uh, the upper level to arrange marriage for them. Co-prosecutor, could you tell the chamber how was the marriage arranged? Answer, there were no, any significant uh, ritual, there Il was a marriage, after that there was a small reception or dinner, and during, during which uh, there uh, was uh, the uh, president or the one who chairs the au marriage au dîner, uh, congratulated uh, uh, the newly wed. Co-prosecutor, could you tell the chamber about the commitment that uh, the new wet were asked to wow. Des vœux que devaient prononcer les jeunes mariés. Answer yes, the newly wet were asked to make a resolution. Co-prosecutor. Question. Who required who required the newly wet to make a resolution? Answer, it was the upper echelon instruct us, instructed us to ask uh, the newlywed to make a resolution. Co-prosecutor, did the marriage uh, ritual or religious ritual were allowed to be held during the marriage? Answer, the couples were asked to make the resolution. There was no traditional ritual arranged as at the present time. Co-prosecutor, I would like to move on to another question. In document E. 319 slash 12.3.2 at the same answer 112, you stated that we can say that they were forced, they were forced marriage because uh, the parties decided them. Could you tell the chamber, were the marriage forced? Answer. In my opinion, there were no 
forced uh, marriages. Réponse. But if uh, moi, the couple agree to get married, uh, uh, we force them to get married. Cela dit, si les gens ne voulaient pas se marier, nous pouvions les, les obliger à le faire. In the same answer, you stated that. Question. Dans cette même réponse. You can say we can say that uh, there were forced uh, marriages. Because the party decided them again, could you tell the chamber le, did the, uh, were the marriage forced? Oui, Answer, yes. Co-prosecutor, oui. thank you. Question. Now I move uh, to the last question. Je passe à ma In question. your answer given to the OCIJ, Dans document E319-12.3.2 and answer 118, you stated that, quote, it was not necessary for militia men to spy on them because it was a small village and everyone knew whether they loved each other or not. My question is, what happened if uh, the newly wed did not uh, love each other. Ce qui pouvait se passer si les nouveaux mariés ne s'aimaient pas. Answer if they did not réponse love each other ne they pas, could not uh, consum consummate the marriage. Ils ne pouvaient pas consommer le mariage. Question uh, were the newly wed allowed to get divorced? Les jeunes mariés avaient-ils le droit de divorcer? Answer, uh, it was not the decision to ask the, the newlywed to get Réponse. divorced, but uh, there were divorces. Co-prosecutor, could you tell the chamber who got divorced at that time? Nous dire qui Answer, I do not recall Réponse. it. Co-prosecutor, thank you, uh, Mr. President. Merci, I now conclude my line of questioning, and I terminé. believe uh, my colleagues have uh, further questions to ask. And I seek the floor for my uh, colleague, President. You may now proceed, le International président, Deputy Co-prosecutor. Merci. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Madame et Thank you. Messieurs les Juges. Good morning, Mr. President. Bonjour Good à morning, vous, Madame Combun. Mon nom est Vincent de Wilde. Je suis donc My procureur euh, côté international. Je voudrais vous rappeler tout d'abord que like nous ne sommes pas là pour vous accuser, all, ni pour vous poursuivre. Et je voulais vous féliciter d'entrer pour avoir répondu très like franchement aux enquêteurs des juges d'instruction lors de votre entretien avec eux. Et je vous encourage à continuer dans cette voie. Je voudrais juste préciser que nous sommes là pour entendre votre témoignage et que c'est important pour la manifestation, la vérité. Si vous ne vous souvenez pas de quelque chose, s'il vous plaît, n'inventez pas de réponse. Ne spéculez pas. Dites seulement ce que vous ne, que vous ne savez pas. Simply say that you do not know the answer. Si vous ne comprenez pas une question, demandez-moi de la répéter. Understand a question, please ask me to repeat it. Je vais commencer avec euh, votre lieu de naissance. Vous avez dit que vous étiez né au village de Gbalho, dans la commune de Chengtong, district de Tramkak. Y avait-il d'autres cadres Khmer Rouge assez importants? des hommes ou des femmes qui étaient originaires du même village que vous, village. Non, il n'y en avait pas. À part votre sœur et vous, Apart from your et je crois que vous avez dit yourself, concernant I votre sœur Yebo, à, à la réponse 32 Ye de votre procès-verbal d'audition, E319-12.3.2, qu'elle avait occupé un poste au sein du, district, du comité du district de Kirivon. Je voulais vous le rappeler, je n'avais pas mentionné tout à l'heure. Mais à part vous et votre sœur, est-ce que, par exemple, vous connaissiez une personne qui s'appelait Ye Yut, qui était originaire de Kbal O également Question. 
Yes, I know that person. Oui, je connais cette personne. Et quelle a été sa fonction sous le régime des Khmer Rouge? And what was that person's position under the Khmer Rouge regime? The person had left the uh, village quite a long time the, before I was there. Est-ce que Ta'an, le directeur de Krang Tachan, the Ta'an dont vous avez parlé dans votre procès verbal d'audition, venait également de Kbal O, d'un village juste à côté. Was that person also from Kbal O, or from another village? He, he came from the Tung Thangai village, which was the adjacent village to Kbal O. Il y a un témoin qui a dit. One witness devant cette chambre, ou plutôt devant chamber, les juges d'instruction, que Ta'an et vous-même étiez cousins. Ta'an and yourself were cousins. Is that correct? Ta'an. Yeah. Yes. Oui. Pour les besoins de la transcription, c'est le témoin Van Sun, le messager de Krang Tachan, qui a dit ça à la réponse 86 du procès verbal E319.1.33. Est-ce que Yichem ou Imchem venait également du village de Kbal-O Yes. Oui. Quelle fonction a-t-elle occupé dans euh, la région What position did that person hold de in the Tramcac? region that is in Tramcac? Um. I do not get your question. Please pas repeat it. Oui, pardon. Quelle fonction a occupé Imchem dans yes. la région, dans votre région What? C'est-à-dire dans le secteur 13. Si was the chairperson of the women in the sector. Est-ce qu'elle a occupé par la suite des fonctions dans la zone centrale du Kampuchea démocratique, à Kampongcham. Je n'en sais rien. Est-ce qu'elle était un membre éloigné de votre famille Was she a distant relative that is within your family? I mean, in Chen. Uh, she came from the same uh, village Elle and commune. And she was a distant uh, relative. Est-ce que votre mari Ta Chorn, le chef de la commune de Was Popel, husband, Chorn, dans le district de Tramcac, venait-il lui aussi de Kbal O? Was he also from Kbal O village? Ta. Yes. Oui. Comment expliquez-vous qu'il y avait d'aussi nombreux cadres assez importants the fact that there were so many qui venaient tous important du même village de Gbal O from the same village Comment ça se fait-il What accounts for that um, I do not know what to say because people from Kbal O were appointed uh, through various positions. Est-ce que Taprum, uh, un témoin a dit que c'était votre oncle venant de Kbal O, a joué un rôle dans votre enrôlement dans le parti?
Did Taprum, who was also from Kamal O, play any role in your admission to the party? He was my uncle, but I did not know much about him. Just before the pause, if I have still a few minutes, I would like to come back to the I would like us to talk about the structure of Tramcar district. Est-ce que vous pourriez nous dire, une fois que vous êtes devenu chef de commune de Chengtong, chief of Chengtong commune, vous avez dit à la réponse 22 de votre procédure verbale d'audition que c'était vers la fin 1973. Est-ce que vous pourriez nous dire qui a été successivement secrétaire du district de Tramcar entre 1973 et 1979? I cannot recall uh, that. So I can only recall uh, some events as to what happened uh, during the regime. As you know, it has happened quite uh, a long time ago. Oui, nous savons que c'était il y a longtemps. Yes, we know that Devant was a long time ago. Vous Before aviez the un investigating nombre de judges, you mentioned the number of names in answer to questions 27 and 288, as well as 200. Alors, vous avez mentionné tout à l'heure le nom de Com, la fille de Tamok. Vous aviez devant les juges d'instruction à la réponse 27. Before the court investigating judges in the district of Tramkak, you refer to the committee of Tramkak district. Vous avez dit que, à la réponse 28, que Yikom et Tachim étaient les premiers membres du comité de district de Tramcock depuis 1973. Et après, il y a eu Takit et Tachai. Takit et Tachai étaient membres. Puis vous avez mentionné également le rôle de Taneo. Stated the role of Tanel, NHEV, who was in charge of the military side. And finally, you said that the last secretary of the Tramcak district was Tassan, and that the last secretary of the Tramcak district was Tassan. And that the last secretary of the Tramcak district was Tassan. And that the last secretary of the Tramcak district was Tassan. And that the last secretary of the Tramcak district was Tassan. And that the last secretary of the Tramcak district was Tassan. And that the last secretary of the Tramcak district was Tassan. And that the last secretary of the Tramcak district was Tassan. And that the last secretary of the Tramcak district was Tassan. And that the last secretary of the Tramcak district was Tassan. And that the last secretary of the Tramcak district was Tassan. And that the last secretary of the Tramcak district was Tassan. And that the last secretary of the Tramcak district was Tassan. And that the last secretary of the Tramcak district was Tassan. And that the last Yes, uh, I recall oui, that. Je m'en souviens. And I uh, recall that I uh, made those statements. Je me souviens avoir dit cela également. In relation uh, to uh, com, ta, 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 and ta chai and ta chim. Ta chai et ta chim. And uh, lastly, uh, it, uh, it was a ta san. Et ta san, enfin. Vous avez dit donc que Tassan était le dernier chef de district de Tramcak avant l'arrivée des troupes vietnamiennes. D'autres témoins ont dit également. Tassan a été interrogé par sa chambre à l'audience du 9 mars 2015. C'est la transcription E1-273.1. Il a dit vers 15h19. He said at about 15 hours 19 that witnesses, including yourself, heard in saying that he was district secretary. And that, as a matter of fact, he was only an assistant au district désigné par Tamok in the district appointed by Tamok. He said that it was Taran who was at the fois au secteur 13 was et qui dirigeait le district de Tramcac. And that she was chief of Tramcock District. Cependant, Tassan, however, Tassan, a dit qu'il n'y avait plus que lui-même et vous au comité du district en 1978. The district committee in 1978. Est-ce que vous êtes d'accord avec Tassan? Do you agree with Tassan? De son vrai nom, Ning Hoot. His name, his. Quand il dit qu'il n'était pas chef de district. Ou bien confirmez-vous, au contraire, qu'il n'y avait personne 
Vu aucune huile dans le district de Tramkak en 1978. Yes, that is uh, true. And there was another person by the name of Ron who was overall uh, in charge. And I forgot to uh, mention that name uh, earlier. When you said that, yes, it was exact. You said exact. Yes, that is correct. Is it correct to say that Tassan was the last? Et quelle était la fonction exacte de ce Rhône dont vous avez mentionné le nom Et quelle était la exacte fonction du Rhône que vous avez mentionné Le Rhône était à l'équipe de l'équipe de l'équipe et responsable du district de Tramcorp. Bien, à côté du comité du district well, proprement dit, apart from the district est-ce qu'il y avait aussi un bureau du district In other words, was there a qui était qui avait des responsabilités en matière économique et en matière de of sécurité Economic affairs and security. No, by nang mien nang mien thom dom de mien da pte amui. Near uh, by, there was a house where the economic people worked there and uh, they were responsible for the economics within the district. President, the time is convenient for a short break. We take a break now and uh, resumed at 10.30. And Madame Kambun, uh, we take a short break now and we return at 10.30. The court is now in recess.